The eternal subject, the eternal witness, is the divine self, untouched by any deeds or thoughts. It is beyond the mind and the senses. It is light itself. It is God, called Narayana, for he resides in the hearts of all beings. He is Vasudeva, for he is the refuge of all beings. He is the ruler of his own Maya, and as ruler, he dwells in the heart of all that he has created. Human beings go round and round in the wheel of birth and death until they wake up and, by controlling their passions, free themselves from the bondage of Maya and know the truth of the divine self. There is no salvation or freedom until a man frees himself from his own mind, knowing the truth of the self as distinct from the mind. It is the mind that causes all experience of misery, of delusion, of disease, of lust, of greed, and of anger. The mind is the abode of all these. Subjugate this mind with the sword of knowledge made keen by the worship of the Lord of Love, the teacher of all teachers. There is one truth, one existence, knowledge itself, the unitary consciousness, pure, unchangeable, beyond subject and object. This knowledge they call God, the Lord of Love not by mere study of the Vedas, nor by penance, nor even by good deeds can one attain this knowledge, but by association with great souls. When the heart has become pure, one takes delight in meditating upon the Lord of love. Burning the sin of ignorance in the fire of knowledge, man realizes his identity with Brahman and attains the Lord of love, the goal of life.